The Technology Innovation Scholars Program consists of highly trained, diverse role models who are undergraduate engineers. They are deployed nationwide to get kids excited about engineering, understanding engineering, and doing engineering. We take really cool stuff that we do in the lab and we make it accessible to kids and teach them the engineering design process and have them solve a problem that they care about. It could be an energy, it could be an environment, healthcare, but they're learning with cool engineers who look like them, who came from the same schools, and we are opening their eyes to the possibilities of them becoming engineers. So we're gonna build a circuit with an incandescent bulb and we're gonna build a circuit with an LED bulb. We are taking cutting edge research and creating these engineering design challenges and activities based off of that. We're taking fiber optics, we're taking nanotechnology, synthetic biology, things that are really cool and really far out there and bringing it into a classroom and showing kids this is the path, this is what we need your smart minds doing for us for the future. After all you've learned about wind turbines, uh, we're going to actually make uh, some of our own. The students we've been working with are absolutely great. They're engaged, they're interactive, and the best part about them is that they are willing to admit when they don't know something. By the time you get done with them, after asking them questions and them struggling, they always seem to get to the answer. And when they do, it's, it's the most exciting moment. I really like working with the BU engineers because they, not only did they help me, but they pushed me to come up with a creative idea and fitting all the origami pieces into the spacecraft bus so that there's a less amount of space. So today you guys are going to be NASA engineers and you're going to be helping to design a space telescope and specifically the spacecraft bus. The NASA Origami Engineering Design Challenge took the really cool aspects of what's been built into the James Webb Space Telescope, which is based on origami techniques to get that thing launched into space and then unfurled and active and fully functional while it's in space. And what was neat about this is kids are thinking about what does a telescope do? How do I balance performance and cost? And how do I make this thing work? the Technology Innovation Scholars Program has been part of the Jackson Mann School for the last three years. It's a place for the kids to say, oh yeah, I can do that. I can invent something. I can make something, do something different. And that's kind of the nice thing about it. That initial piece when the engineering students came and when they brought their projects, it's a place for our students to just say, yeah, I can do that. I really didn't think about engineering as something that I could do in my future. But now that I've seen how much work goes into it and how it can affect us and make the world like a better place. Our kids don't always have middle-class opportunities that other kids have so it's really important as a Boston public school to know that we can access something like the TIS program, something like Boston University to help our students. We have three students who just finished up a summer program at, at Boston University. One of them is a young Hispanic woman, one is a young Asian lady, and the other is a rising eighth grade Arabic boy. That's the Jackson man, that's the city of Boston. That's what all of this opportunity is about, is about making sure that every kid in the Boston public schools in the city of Boston has an opportunity for something like this. I like being an inspiration ambassador because it's given me the opportunity to give back to some of the students within the Boston area. The incandescent bulb has like the wires in it and the LED. We're able to take these really cool projects such as robotics, synthetic biology, using C++ programs. Some of these projects that these students may not have access to in, in their normal middle schools or high schools, but being a part of Boston University, we're able to take these projects to them. So the students do have that access to it and are still able to pursue engineering degrees. Before learning about engineering, I only knew that engineers built things to make life simpler and better. But coming here, I learned that there's like a whole deeper process to building and the trial and error behind making life more simpler. When I talk to a student and they're asking questions and I give them little tidbits, but they're always wanting more, that I think is when you've appropriately taught engineering. I want to help them have the best experience they can have. Now we're going to do two things. We're going to measure the electricity across it and we're going to measure the, the brightness that it has. Okay? I would absolutely recommend this program to other people. It expands your mind into engineering and it's not just like, oh, I have to build something. If it doesn't work out, then it's terrible. It's more so like, I built this with my imagination. I'm making dreams come true. The program is really filling and broadening the pipeline from middle school to high school into college and into the workforce so we stop having the problems that are restricting us now in terms of having the talent here in the United States to innovate, create new businesses and be the technical workforce that we need. Awesome. <laughs>